Istanbul, the only city in the world to straddle Asia and Europe. This location at the crossroads of two continents has made it a trading hub for centuries. That's why I find it so exciting. It's a vibrant, bustling, cosmopolitan place. But Istanbul's location also brings with it great danger. Nearby lies the North Anatolian Fault, one of the most seismically active plate boundaries on the planet. Scientists reckon a major earthquake is due here anytime. There's little doubt that in the very near future, Istanbul will be struck by a big earthquake. It's a strange feeling that this city that I love could be destroyed in my lifetime. But it doesn't have to be. Here, they're starting to rewrite the terms of our ancient bargain with fault lines. The aim is to enjoy the benefits of living along this plate boundary without having to pay a price in human life. Below the waters of the Bosphorus, the channel that separates Europe from Asia, is a clue to the solution. You know, this is such an eerie feeling. I'm 35 meters below the level of the Bosphorus, and I'm walking parallel to one of the most active earthquake zones in the world. So not the kind of place you expect to find a major engineering project. And yet that's exactly where the Turkish authorities decided to build an underground train line. This tunnel, which will one day link Asia to Europe, is the deepest tunnel of its kind on Earth and yet it runs alongside one of the most dangerous earthquake faults in the world. These engineers are supremely confident that they've got the risks covered. Through some technical wizardry, the whole tunnel is designed to absorb the vibrations of even the largest of earthquakes. What these guys are doing effectively is confronting the earthquake threat head on. This technology won't allow us to stop earthquakes, but it shows that if we really want to protect against their consequences, we can. Unfortunately, in Istanbul, this tunnel is only half the story. You know, high-tech underground train tunnels are all very well, but the reality is that most people that will die in the next earthquake will die because the buildings that they live and work in collapse. And in that sense, Istanbul is completely unprepared. It's reckoned that when the next earthquake comes, it might bring down a quarter of the city. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be like that because we have the technical know-how to keep buildings standing. The irony is, Istanbul already has a building that has survived earthquakes for centuries. This magnificent building is the Hagia Sophia. It's got to be my favorite place in the city. For the tourists that come here, this is a fitting symbol of Istanbul's reputation as a crossroads of different civilizations. In its 1500 year history, it's been a church, then a mosque, and now a museum. The Hagia Sophia has stood through more than a dozen earthquakes without the benefit of modern technology. It was built on such a massive, monumental scale that even the biggest earthquakes never managed to knock it down. You know, it's no accident that when the earthquake does strike, the two things that will probably survive are one of the oldest buildings in the city and one of the newest. And that's because they're both structures that we've decided are worthy of looking after. 
Today, we have the technology to protect every building, whether it's flats, factories or offices, if we choose to. For 10,000 years, we've lived with the benefits and the dangers of fault lines. You know, it's clear that people are going to continue to live along fault lines, probably for the next 10,000 years. But now we have two clear options. Stick with the old regime and take our chances or embrace the new and take some kind of control. The trouble is, protection doesn't come cheap. Reinforcing every building in an earthquake zone would be massively expensive. So even with all our knowledge, the deep earth is going to continue to confront us with some tough choices for years to come.